Hello and welcome back to Sacred Vapes, the channel that aims to bring you the views and experiences of products in the market today, brought to you by an average vapor. Now, I've, this week I've got a range of liquids from a company that, if you've been vaping as long as I have, you will have heard of them. They're a company that I've aimed to bring high quality liquids at affordable prices. They are Drip Drop. Now, before we get talking about the flavours, I want to get talking about Drip Drop themselves. A little bit of backstory on them. Going back, it would have been about five years ago now, they were making e-liquids and selling them on eBay. And this was in the early days of vaping, so the e-liquid market was nowhere near what it was now. eBay clamped down, banned them, so they made a website. And from that website, they've just grew and grew and grew. And sitting here now, it's absolutely amazing to be able to talk about Drip Drop in this way. You know, I going back, I bought a Kangatech sub box for my first sub ohm kit. That's how long ago it was. And yeah, it, the main flavours I was buying at the time was Drip Drops. You know, they were about, I think they were about three fifty to £4 a bottle at that time. For 30 mils, which is really, really cheap, and they were really nice. One of my favorite flavors of all time to this day is the clotted cream fudge. I do mean to check that out to see if they still sell it or not. But yeah, basically, most of the companies that I can bring to you on this channel they may be fantastic companies, but Drip Drop are truly inspirational, they really are. So, yeah, a little bit of a thing out the way there so we're getting moving on to the liquids they come in 100 ml bottles well 100 mils in 120 ml bottles they come 63.5 vg obviously that's going to change the ratio once you add your nicotine shots in they come nicotine free and yeah as i said at the start we've got six different flavors to bring and we're going to start off with the green apple candy now the experience I got with this one the inhale I did get that fresh apple taste and the exhale did move into a nice furrow fresh apple with additional sweeteners on top I did find um, I did f did notice that the flavor was quite subdued up until I was trying it in the dark mesh tank. Once I got up to the dark mesh at 100 watts, that's when I started to notice the apple coming through a lot more. So it seems to be one of them flavours that performs better at higher wattages. You know, the lower you go, the more subdued it becomes. But it is a nice for a vape. You know, you put this in a dripper, you put this in, you know, a really high wattage tank and you're going to get a really nice fresh apple and I love the fact that they've gone with that. They haven't made an artificial apple flavour, they've made a fresh apple flavour with the added sweetener. Just It's a nice little twist on the apple candy idea. So yeah, first and foremost, it was okay. It wasn't the best flavour in the world but I say you put power through this, you're going to get a really nice apple flavour. Let's move on to the next one and it is orange and strawberry candy. Now, this one was probably my least favourite, but basing it on the name on the bottle, it should have been my favourite. Much like the green apple, I did find it quite subdued. I think the strawberry on, was more prominent on the exhale. It made it really smooth and added that natural sweetener into the flavour, but I didn't find it really coming through. It was more the orange, and the orange was just a dull, constant orange rather than anything too citrusy. So, uh, overall experience with this one, not great. And uh, It needs more flavour running through it. I mean, I, I did try this in a few different tanks, and I just got the same experience each time, which is a surprise because it smells gorgeous. And the vapour production smells gorgeous. It just, I didn't find the flavour coming through strong enough for me. Maybe if you put this in a dripper, you'd get much more flavour coming through. But I use stock tanks, so I can't really comment on that. So yeah, move on to the next one now. And it is the Peach 
apricot and strawberry. That does not look like an apricot to me on the bottle. I, I genuinely didn't know what that was meant to be. <laughs> but yeah, this flavour was probably my favourite at the range. I thought the peach was spot on for what you would want from an e-liquid peach. I thought it was nice and flavourful. It was sweet. It was, you know, just prominent throughout the inhale and the exhale. Just a really nice, strong flavour. I thought the apricot and the strawberry came in a little bit more subdued, but that was not necessarily a bad thing because they just added that sweet peach taste. It just backed it up, if that makes sense. So overall, this is a really, really nice peach flavour. That's the main selling point that I'm going to go with on this this one but i really really enjoyed it it's well worth trying this one out and yeah i will say this counts for pretty much them all but the even though it's quite sweet the coil performance is absolutely excellent it really don't have any issues whatsoever in like coil performance or drops and flavor or anything like that pretty consistent throughout each tank that i used it in so next one is pear, tangerine, and menthol. Now this one, I seem to have some sort of blockage that I can't taste menthol in weird menthol flavors. <laughs> I, when I done the vape duty free review, way back now in November was it? You know their Kool Aid flavor won best menthol at an award show earlier on in that year, and my review, if you go and check it out didn't mention menthol whatsoever and i've got the same experience with this i didn't get any menthol flavor at all either inhale or exhale there was no coolness <coughs> just nothing minty whatsoever in it what i found with the pear and the tangerine though you what you get is a really nice citrus vape and the pear again it's a fresh pear which is a really nice touch you do get that more on the inhale, a nice, sharp, fresh, sweet peach, peach, herb, pear, <laughs> and going on to the exhale, the tangerine comes in more, but again, my experience was a little bit different with this flavour, I didn't get tangerine as such, I got lemon, but either way, it was you know, a very citrusy fruit come through, with the sweet pear, so, just sort of backing it up there, with a nice blend, to be honest, so... Yeah, very, very interesting liquid. And well worth trying this one, mainly to see if you get the menthol come through because potentially it's a really nice flavour if the menthol is there. I just have the mental block for some reason. I just can't get the menthol to come through if it's not full-blown menthol. <coughs> but then this is, this is just my opinion and my experiences. Your experiences are going to be completely different. <coughs> next one is going to be sour apple and grape and this one was really really pure pure <laughs> that's not even a word Pe peculiar mainly because the main inhale i got from this was the apple and again it's a fresh apple it's similar to what they use in the green apple candy you're getting the nice fresh sweet apple come through you know it's nice and sharp and once you get into the exhale the grape starts to come through a lot more and it blends together in a really really nice way it's my first flavor experience of this was a bit heisenbergy but after a while that did seem to dip did seem to go and it's you do get the sour coming through i wouldn't say it's overloaded with sour either it's not a flavor that's going to leave your mouth like tingling afterwards but you're definitely getting the sour flavor in the vape rather than left in your mouth so what it creates is a really nice unique blend on a sour range because you're getting the fresh apple you're getting the sour grape come through and it just blends together really really nice so <coughs> it definitely does perform really well for a grape which <coughs> <coughs> excuse me <laughs> It does blend together really well for a grape, which is a really nice thing to see as well, because as you know, grape can really perform badly on coils, but <coughs> no coil issues whatsoever. So, yeah, really, really nice flavour. And finally, we have 
the raspberry, apple and blackberry. <coughs> and my experience with this one again was really, really positive. I found the blackberry was coming through similar to black currant in the sense it was a nice, strong, prominent flavour. It wasn't artificial, it wasn't in an air with black currant, which if you've never mixed before and you've never tried an air with black currant, it's very overpowering. It really is, you know, even a small amount. This one, it isn't that black currant. You are getting a nice strong black currant, but it's not overpowering on the taste buds. The raspberry and the apple just seem to again add body onto the exhale just to add a bit of sweetness to it. I wasn't really getting any notes of them fruits come through as much. Well, not in a way that you can pick them out, that's raspberry. You know, but they, they are there, they do make a nice exhale little blend. The blackberry is very prominent. And yeah, one strange thing I did find with this liquid was I found it left a little tingle on my tongue afterwards. I don't think that's intentional either, but my experience was it kind of came through a bit like a lemonade without any lemon in there. So just the fizzy effect, which, yeah, again, made a really, really nice liquid to try. And, yeah, I would really recommend giving this one a go. If you want a little bit of a black currant that's a little bit different to what you normally buy. So, yeah, we'll wrap it up there. Um, But, yeah, overall, these flavours, um, if I had to pick three out, I'd pick out the peach, I'd pick out the blackberry, and I'd pick out... Honestly, the sour apple and grape, you know, I thought they were really, really nice flavours. You know, these come in a £10 a bottle for 100 mils, which is an absolute bargain. And yeah, I think a couple of them do need that little bit more flavour through them, in my experience. And yeah, this one and then the menthol one just seemed a bit, yeah, that's just down to my experience, but. Overall, these are really nice flavours in this range. And really, for things like the peach and the sour apple and grape, they're really, really worth trying. So, yeah, they are my picks for which ones to try. Um, thank you for watching. I really appreciate this. Sorry this was a bit of a ramble. As I say, this is not the first time I've shot this. So, I'm trying to regurgitate my views on this. But, yeah, next week I'm hoping to finally bring a juice review for you. That has been a long time in the making, to be honest. And it might be really interesting, something a bit different. But yeah, as I always say, thank you for watching. Stay safe. And keep vaping.